आज हम लोग चैप्टर वन इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज एंड फील्ड जो कि फिजिक्स का क्लास ट्वेल्व चैप्टर वन है उसका ऑडियो बुक बनाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं तो फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन दिया हुआ ऑल ऑफ अस हैव द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ सींग ए स्पार्क और हीटिंग ए क्रेकल व्हेन वी टेक ऑफ आवर सिंथेटिक क्लोथ्स और स्वेटर पार्टिकुलरली इन ड्राई वेदर दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट Inevitable with ladies garments like a polyester sari. Have you ever tried to find any explanation for this phenomenon? Another common example of electric discharge is the lightning that we see in the sky during thunderstorms. We also experience a sensation of an electric shock either while opening the door. of a car or holding the iron bar of a bus after sliding from our seat the reason of this experience says is this charge of electric charges through our body which were accumulated due to rubbing of insulating surfaces you might have also heard that this is due to generation of static electricity this is precisely the topic we are going to discuss in this and the next chapter static means anything that does not move or change with time electrostatic deal with the study of forces field and potentials arises from static charges electric charge historically the credit of discovery of the fact that amber rubbed with wool and silk cloth attract light object goes to tales of militus greece around 600 bc the name electricity is coined from the greek word electron meaning amber many such pairs of materials were known which on rubbing would attract light object like straw pith ball and bits of paper you can perform the following activity at home to experience such an effect cut out long thin strip of white paper and slightly cut out long thin strip of white paper and lightly iron them take them near a tv screen or computer monitor you will see that the strip get attracted to the screen in fact they remain stuck to the screen for a while it was observed that if two glass rods rubbed with wool and silk cloth are brought close to each other they repel each other figure 1.1a you can see here the two strands of wool and two pairs of silk cloth with which the rod were rubbed also repel each other however the glass rod and wool attract each other similarly two plastic rods rubbed with cat fur repel each other but attract the fur on the other hand the plastic rod attract the glass rod and repel the silk or wool with which the glass rod is rubbed 
the glass rod repels the fur if a plastic rod rubbed with fur is made to touch two small pits ball nowadays we can use polystyrene ball suspended by silk or nylon thread then the ball repel each other you can see in figure 1.1d and also repel by the rod a similar effect is found if the pit ball are touched with a glass rod rubbed with silk you can see in figure 1.1e a dramatic observation is that a pit ball touch with glass rod attract another pit ball touch with plastic rod figure 1.1f these seemingly simple fact were established from years of efforts and careful experiment and their analysis it was concluded after many careful studies by the different scientists that there were only two kind of in tight which is called the electric charge we say that the bodies like glass or plastic rod silk fur and pit ball are electrified they acquire an electric charge on rubbing the experiment on pit ball suggested that there are two kind of electrification and we find that like charge repels and unlike charge attract each other the experiment also demonstrate that the charge are transferred from the rod to the pit ball on contact it is said that pit balls are electrified or are charged by contact the property which differentiate the two kind of charges is called the polarity of charge when a glass rod is rubbed with silk the rod acquire one kind of charge and silk acquire the second kind of charge this is true for any pair of object that is rubbed to be electrified now if the electrified glass rod is brought in contact with silk with which it is rubbed they no longer attract each other they also do not attract or repel other light object as they did not been electrified thus the charges acquired after rubbing are lost when the charges bodies are brought in contact what can you conclude from this observation it just tells us that a like charge acquired by the object neutralize or nullify each other effect therefore the charges were named as positive or negative by the american scientist benjamin franklin we now that when we add a positive number to the negative number of the same magnitude the sum is zero this might have been the philosophy in naming the charges as positive and negative by convention the charges on glass rod or cats first is called positive and that on plastic rod or silk is termed negative if an object possesses an electric charge it is said to be electrified or charged when it has no charge it is said to be electrically neutral
A simple apparatus to detect charge on a body is the gold leaf electroscope. It consists of a vertical metal rod housed in a box with two thin gold leaves attached to its bottom end. When a charge object touches the metal knob at the top of the rod, charges flow on the leaves and they diverge. The degree of divergence is an indicator of the amount of charge. A student can make a simple electroscope follows. Figure 1.1b Take a thin aluminum curtain rod with ball ends fitted for hanging the curtain. Cut out a piece of length about 20 cm with the ball at one end and flatten the curtain. Take a large bottle that can hold this rod and a cork which will fit in the opening of the bottle. Make a hole in the cork sufficient to hold the curtain rod snugly. Slide the rod through the hole of the cork with the cut end on the lower side and ball end projecting above the cork. Fold a small thin ammonium foil about 6 cm in length in the middle and attach it to the flattened end of the road by cellulose tape. It forms the leaves of your electroscope. Fit the cork in the bottle with about 5 cm of the ball end projecting above the cork. A paper scale may be put inside the bottle in advance to measure the separation of leaves. The separation is a rough measure of the amount of charge of the electroscope. To understand how the electroscope work, use the white paper strip we used for seeing the attraction of charge body. Fold the strip into half so that you can make a mark fold. Open the strip and iron it lightly with the mountain folder. As shown in figure 1.3, hold the strip by pinching it at the fold. You should notice that the two halves move apart. This shows that the strip has acquired charges on ironing. When you fold it into half, both the halves have the same charge, hence they repel each other. The same effect is seen in the leaf electroscope. Charge is transferred to the curtain rod and the attached aluminum foil. Both the halves of the foil get similar charge and therefore repel each other. A divergence in the leaves depend on the amount of charge on them. Let us first try to understand why materials body acquire charge. You know that all matters is made up of atoms and or molecules although normally the materials are electrically neutral they do contain charge but their charges are exactly balanced. Force that hold the molecules together, force that hold atoms together in a solid, the adhesive force of glue. Forces associated with the surface tension all are basically electrical in nature arising from the force between charged particles. Thus, the electric force is all pervasive and it encompasses almost each and every field associated with our life. It is therefore essential that we learn more about such a force. 
to electrify a neutral body we need to add and remove one kind of charge when we say that a body is charged we always refer to this excess charge or deflect of charge in solids some of the electrons being less tightly bounded in the atom and the charges which are transferred from one body to another a body can thus be charged positively by losing some of its electron similarly a body can charge negatively by gaining electrons when we rub a glass rod with silk some of the electrons from the rod are transferred to silk cloth thus the rod get positively charged and silk get negatively charged no new charge is created in the process of rubbing also the number of electrons that are transferred is very small fraction of the total number of electrons in the material body also only the less tightly bounded electrons in the material body can be transferred from it to another by rubbing therefore when a body is rubbed with another the body get charged and that is why we have to stick to certain pair of material to notice charging on rubbing the bodies aaj ke liye itna hi rakhte hain kyunki lecture zyada bada ho raha hai to thoda boring ho jayega so till then take care